Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to insert checkboxes and also generate a little progress bar based on the checking or not of those boxes. So first thing what we got to do is actually add a developer ribbon. If you don't have it in your Excel, uh, what you need to go is the top left hand corner into file here, go to options down on the bottom left hand side, click customize ribbon, and then just click developer and that'll add the developer uh, tab in your ribbon for you here. Um, once we've got that done, we're going to insert our checkbox. So we can just insert our checkbox here and that'll do it as a little plus mark. Yeah, we'll just try and get it inside this uh, cell here. Yeah, next step is I'm going to just remove the text in the checkbox. And what we're going to do then is we're going to put checkboxes in the, the rest of the cell. So what I'm going to do here is just try and quickly uncheck that. And then I'm going to uh, go into that checkbox and then I'm going to go uh, shift and right to go to the other boxes that I'm interested in. And then I'm going to press, I'm going to press control and or, and that's going to fill out the checkboxes into the rest of the cells that I'm interested in. in. Then I'm going to go shift and down. And then again, we're going to go press control and D and that's going to fill out the rest of our checkboxes that we're looking at. What we need to do now is actually assign this checkbox to the cell that we're looking at. So we're going to right click on the checkbox. We're going to click format control. We're going to click mixed and then we're going to click what this cell is. So we're looking at D3 here. Okay. So that's going to assign the checkbox to that cell. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to do this for the rest of them. So format control, we're going to go mixed. We're going to go E3. This cell here. We're going to go F3 and last one. Okay, I know what you're thinking. It says NA for those checkboxes, but that will soon be removed uh, once I click on them. So once we click on them now, they're just going to go false or true. Uh, and what we need to do then is unfortunately do that for the rest of the cells that you see present here. But now what we're going to do is let's generate our little progress bar. So what we're going to do in h3 here we're going to put in our formula so our formula is going to be equals let's make this caps count if and then we're going to go d3 to g3 for that little range we're going to go true to say give us a positive value when it's true we're going to end the bracket and then we're going to divide that by columns And then we're going to do the same range again. So D3 to G3 and bracket. So that's going to give us a number saying that 50% of our cases are true here. Uh, and then we can see that goes up as we click more. Okay, so the last part here before uh, is now is actually to generate the progress bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to home and then we're going to go conditional formatting. We're going to go manage rules. No, we're not. We're going to go conditional formatting and we're going to go new rule and then we're going to go data bar and then we've got these options here for automatic so uh for automatic here we're going to click for number for both of them sorry apologies uh, number and then the lowest value will be zero and then the highest value will be one as that will be 100 percent. and then a color here we can select what we're interested in so let's take a nice green color here for a progress bar and we can see that we have 50 percent here and as we click it up we get uh, all the way up to that one so that's how we insert checkboxes and do a progress bar